the last two years, Animal Equality has investigated the Spanish rabbit farming industry and uncovered firsthand the true face of the business. With 70 farms investigated and four slaughterhouses, we have exposed the cruelty which animals are subjected to by filming many examples of the irregularities inside this industry. A rabbit in this industry frequently has the life expectancy of just a few hours. Straight after birth, some of the newborn rabbits are thrown alive in a rubbish container along with the rest of the dead rabbits. Here they are left to die slowly. This standard practice is justified simply because these animals are smaller than the others. They are simply not as profitable. The rabbits who aren't immediately killed will be forced to live in dark, dirty cages with nothing but wired floor, where they will spend the rest of their short lives without ever seeing daylight. Some vets were also responsible for the ill treatment, showing no sensitivity towards the suffering of the animals. <laughs> Rabbits are tagged and given an individual number for identification purposes, which will remain on them until they arrive to the slaughterhouse. One of the methods used is to forcefully mark digits onto the rabbit's sensitive ears without any anaesthetic, thus causing intense pain. Due to their confinement and stress, many of them become ill and suffer without receiving any care. As several animals are confined to live in the same small space, it is common for them to bite each other due to stress. On occasions, rabbits will go as far as ripping each other's ears off. Many of them spend their whole lives with untreated wounds on their bodies. One rabbit twisted its neck in pain due to an ear infection which was several weeks old. This is an extremely frequent problem which is not usually treated as the industry seeks to avoid wasting money on veterinary attention. Injured animals are clubbed or smashed to death on the floor by the farmers. Sometimes, they are simply left agonizing in their own dirt inside the cages. After having been struck in the neck with a metal bar or by the farmer's hand, some animals still remain alive when they are thrown into the rubbish containers with other decomposing animals. Here is where the rabbits may spend hours or even days until they finally succumb and die. The investigators witness rabbits with broken paws attempting to move forward some managing to reach their food in spite of the pain. They saw others staggering and agonizing in the same cages with their faces swollen from severe infections. These examples of ill treatment are not isolated cases. Animal Equality's investigation team found such evidence in every farm that was visited. When the rabbits weigh approximately two kilos, they are loaded into trucks to be taken to the slaughterhouse. The stress and fear they endure causes some of the animals to urinate on each other. After several hours with no food or water, their throats are cut open. And in spite of the stunning, some of them still twist in pain in a despairing attempt to escape from the hook they are hanging from, a last desperate attempt to live. Some of this rabbit meat is imported into the UK. Restaurants such as The Terrace, which belongs to the National Theatre, serves rabbit meat supplied by a Spanish company which has a direct connection to the farms shown in this video. Having discovered the true horror of what these animals are subjected to, many people realize that they cannot continue participating in the suffering of animals. 
There is no difference between hurting a dog, a rabbit or a pig, and I believe that together we can make sure that images like these never happen again. That is why we ask you today to please replace meat in your diet. The ill treatment and cruelty that animals are subjected can be avoided, and it's as simple as making a better choice from the menu.